Well, freeze warning has been issued, at least for parts of the area. And let me explain this to you because you'll see it out west of St. Louis, but we're going to dip below freezing here in St. Louis too. It's just these are the areas that have the better chance to get colder, 28 degrees or colder, which would be a hard freeze. Bottom line, whether you're in the freeze warning or even outside and not in it, protect those early blooming plants if you're a little nervous about them or bring them indoors. I have us down to 31 in St. Louis, Baldwin at 31, but upper 20s like 28 in Warrington and Troy. A little breeze will make it feel a touch colder too but we'll be dry in the morning. This is not unusual to get a freeze in late March. In fact, April 2nd is the average last freeze, according to the National Weather Service. At least in St. Louis, you can see some other cities average last freeze. Remember, that's average. So about half the time, it's actually after that date. So really by about late April and uh, especially by May 1st, you're thinking about planting. But uh, hold off for now. This is not that unusual. But if you have some early blooming plants you want to protect, cover them up with some cheesecloth or bring them in. Hey, after that cold morning, it does turn mostly sunny. From partly cloudy to mostly sunny, we go up to about 55. It's still a cool day and below the normal of 61, but the sunshine will be nice. By 6 o'clock, 51 degrees, cool and dry for your evening plans. So here's the first alert super predictor for tomorrow. The reason we're turning mostly sunny is you see all this wind that's kind of circulating right here on near Kansas City, that's a high pressure core. That core is still pushing in some cool air for us, but the sunshine helps tomorrow. Here's the thing. As that high moves off to the southeast, we start to get the return flow. See how the arrows are showing our flow coming in out of the southwest? That is warmer air, and that's why we get up to 66 on Thursday. Now, Thursday morning still may be near freezing or below freezing in outlying areas, so a couple days to protect those plants. But otherwise, we're warming up Thursday into the 60s, Friday into the 70s. A little breezy, but still dry and partly cloudy for our Fridays. We get into a warm trend. So again, near to below freezing next couple nights after Thursday morning, we pop up to the 60s and 70s by Friday, 70s on Saturday. We do have a chance for some rain showers, maybe a little thunder on Easter Sunday, a high of 73 and a chance for some thunderstorms again on Monday as well. But highs are pretty mild until the cold front passes. And that's when you'll notice the cool air early next week on Tuesday, a cooler day with a high of around 60.